everybody, this is Dean Bedford with the Novi Sad Running Together team. We have a beautiful day here in Prague. We are here to run in the half marathon with the group Running With Those That Can't. We intend to make a how-to video teaching everybody how to actually do this. We're going to start today by picking up our start bags and getting the registration for a run tomorrow. We're going to head into the expo and basically what you need to do is bring the email confirmation of your registration, show them your ID, they're going to hand you a start bag. The start bag will have all the information that you need about the race, when to be there, where to set up. Okay, so over there is your cover with the number and the chip. You can check the chip over there underneath the, the screen. And there are also some informations about, about the run. All the runners also get the West, which you can collect over there. Uh, most important, it's going to have your start number with four pins in it, and we suggest everybody to pin up the night beforehand to make sure that the number is properly where you like it on your shirt. So I have a West for you. Large. Large. Okay, perfect. Absolutely. Here for you tomorrow. But the last thing we want to do is uh, make sure that the chip is working. We're going to walk over here and hopefully see my name in a few seconds. Woohoo! I'm somebody. Tomorrow we'll talk to you about how to properly run to make sure that it's respectful to all the other runners and also, most important, taking care of these wonderful people. Looking forward to sharing this wonderful event with everybody. Cheers! Hi all, it's a beautiful day here in Prague and we're here in the paddock area for running with those that can't. Uh, what we're going to do is share with you some of the considerations that you need to make when uh, establishing a running together organization. The start finish is right behind us. You have to be close by because you have to be able to get the children close to the start. You can't be far, far away. One of the most important things to make the considerations when you're running with special needs children are the actual different needs of each child. So we have to make sure that the carriage has the proper uh, belts to secure the child. We'll also talk about how you always have to be monitoring the child throughout the run. Those carriages especially can get a little heavy on people after a while, so you want to make sure you have a nice shared team. Today we had 22 carriages. We had to move some people over from one carriage to another to make sure they had a proper team to push along. As we shared beforehand, the most important thing about running with special needs children is to have a carriage that properly represents the needs of the child. You can see here we have straps to keep the child in place. You can also see the, the Velcro here because some kids might not have the backbone to be able to keep their head up. So you can actually place this. The other thing is if it's raining weather-wise and all. One of the most important things is if there's ever a child in the carriage, there is always to be one person holding the carriage at all points. You want the, your team on the left and the right. One person will always be worried about the child because if there's any issues with the child, there has to be somebody watching the child. The other runner will be making sure that you're being respectful of the other runners on the race course. You don't want to take away from their race, but you also want to make sure that there's no accident. The last and very important note when running with a carriage in a team is when you go to a corner, never go right on the corner like a race car. Go wide of the corner because everybody else naturally will go to the apex of the turn and that's where accidents happen. This wheel on the back of an ankle, that wheel on the back of an ankle can make somebody else's day not a good day to be running 21 or 42 kilometers. After the race, you know, we have a beautiful day today, but if it's raining or cold, you have to be able to get the children back to a safe vehicle or clothing and everything. We have a tent there where you pick up the shirts. Everybody that's running and running with those that can't or running together organization will have the same shirts. It clearly designates that they are running with special needs children. So, a little bit about these wonderful carriages and this wonderful charity. Thank you very much.